Good morning, everybody. It's Christy. Love my big girl. Oh, and that's my sassy girl. I have a lap full of puppies. All my makeup's on the side because the puppies are with me. Uh, this is Love My Big Girl Makeup. It's very early in the morning. My hair's not fixed or brushed. Uh, this is the nightgown I slept in. It's got little strawberries on it or whatever. I got it at Woman Within. That's a great place to get house dresses or loungewear or nightgowns. Uh, for women who are a little bit bigger, I think they they have all sizes, but they go up into the really super plus sizes. And so, yay. Anyway, uh, I'm out of it. It's early, early, and I didn't get much sleep. But I figured, look, I know how bad I look in the mornings. This, So I know I'm not the only one that wakes up thinking, goodness gracious, don't look in the mirror. This is horrible. So I thought, well, let's get ready together. Let's watch the power of makeup turn this ugly duckling into a beautiful swan. First, we're going to start off with some Dior. It's called Miss Dior. And I like it. I like it very much. I want to thank the woman who sent me these samples because I was out of perfume. Um... That was very kind. She also sent it in this Laura Geller bag, which was very sweet. Anyway, the Miss Dior, I think it smells good. I like it very much. The dog just found something to get in. I had to move it. Um, I'm in the studio. I don't have my Dr. Dines next to me, which is the foundation I prefer. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to use this Erno Laszlo. And, uh, I don't even think they make it anymore. Yes, I put on a lot. But that's okay. I'll buff it out. And it'll work beautifully. I also need to... Hello, Miss Sassy. Hello, my love. Are you going to help, Mama? Are you going to help? Well, let me get this, please. She's just going to sit there and guard the makeup. I forgot to do the concealer. This is just a Laura Geller Dream Cream Concealer. The color's a little darker than I am. I've got those dark circles. we got to do away with that crud really quick. And the more peachier tones will take the dark circles away. Yay! Let me grab my makeup kit here. This is what I'm going to use today. Plus, I have a little bit down here next to me. I'm going to use this and just buff it in. I suppose I could grab a mirror so I could see what I was doing. Here's my Mally mirror. I'll just open that up. I love this It brush. But even more than this It brush, I love my uh, Samantha Champion, um, what is it called? Real Techniques brush. I love that one. Okay. That looks blended nicely. There we go. I'm going to take, this is called Art Deco, and it's a highlight. It says Perfect Tint Illuminizer. And I'm just going to do my little triangle thing. My little triangle thing. And yes, I went a little heavy. Sorry. It's only, it happens. <laughs> I'm just going to buff that in. Normally I like to do my fingers, but because I did go so heavy, I'll just use this. That'll help take some of it down. My hair is not even out of my... I'll go down my nose. Around my mouth. Around my mouth because of the freckles, I look like I have a mustache. That does not thrill me. <laughs> okay, the foundation is perfect. Love it. I'm just going to take another brush right here. I'm going to go into a balance and brighten in fair. If I have to make it darker, I will. I just kind of just boom, 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 and I'll brush it off in a second. This is how I like to do it. Yes, I know this video is going to run a little long because I am starting from start to finish, but come on, you get to see some amazing, amazing. Like I said, to go from a swan to 
I'm so tired to go from an ugly duckling to a swan. So I will show my ugly duckling self just so you can watch it happen. Now I'm, this is the porcelain now. I'm going to buff it all in with my big old head brush. Look at this sucker. Wee haw. Don't you love that? Mm hmm. Okay, foundation is on. Next, we're going to go with the contour. And I like to contour with um, Mally, YBF, um, Geller, Balance of Brighton. Whatever. Elf. Okay. I'm going to go back in here. Let's take away that double chin and get my face in definition. down make it all even okay then whatever's left on your face if you feel the need warm yourself up there you go go like this and there you go Okay, that'll work. Haha, <laughs> I remembered a lip liner this time. Yay! <laughs> I've been forgetting them for several videos. Here we go. I just pulled down to get those big voluptuous lips. Remember to go straight across. See, that just made the shadow to make it look like my lip is so full that it would leave a shadow underneath. Is that okay? See if I'm even. Now, this is chocolate, and I tell you, chocolate works with any lip that I choose to do. The chocolate just blends right in. It's from um, Avon and it just blends right in. I really, I love it. I do. I'm looking for my lip pencil because I'd rather not use my fingers. Since I don't have one, I'm just going to use this clean eyeshadow brush. I'm using Dreden Cream and Tropical Hues from Laura Geller. Now, and start working that lippy lip liner in. There we go. You see, that's a very light pink I'm putting on. Okay? But it just blends right in with that lip liner. And it works with any color. I mean, look how light that pink is. I use that light pink right there. The lip liner just blended right in beautifully. I love Avon chocolate. Okay. I'm just going to take a little bit of this iridescent looking color in here and just. Mm hmm. That is my favorite lippy to get those big voluptuous lips. I love it, love it. Okay, now we're going to go into, what am I going to use today? Where did I put it? Now, y'all, I had pulled this Smashbox. We were going to do Smashbox. Ah, and it fell, but I have it. Hey, it's early. Now, I want to show y'all a trick. See how that's been marked out? I always keep the plastic in. The glass broke, but before the glass could fall out and get all icky everywhere and ruined my palette, I took out a nail polish and I polished over it. And it will not fall out now. It's safe. So 
just a hint, a heads up in case you ever need to do something like that. This palette is called the Discovered Kit or Be Discovered from Smashbox. You get your highlighters and blushes. You also get lip glosses and liners and shadows. So that's what we're going to use today. Before I put any of that on, I need to put on an eye primer. So what I'm going to use is my NYX Jumbo Pencil. Get down, puppy. My NYX Jumbo Pencil. And Milk. I'm just going to smear up my finger. Or you could use a brush if you prefer. You know me, fingers, I think, are your best tools. There are no tools better than your fingers, truly. But I know a lot of girls wear nails, and if they don't want their fingers to get messed up due to their nails. So just use a brush. Whatever floats your boat. See, already you can see the change from what I looked like a moment ago to what I'm starting to look like now. It is amazing what makeup can do. Okay, so let's get started. I have no idea what colors I'm going to go with, so I'm just going to start. I'm going to use some colors I never use. I see a real pretty green color in here. Look, isn't that pretty? Now, I've never used this, so I have no idea <laughs> how they're going to look. So let me get a little, hmm. What about golds and, and that green? That might be pretty. Here's some gold. Let me let me try to get this gold and see how that looks. If it doesn't look good, oh well, we tried. I'm going out of my comfort zone. Y'all know I'm not a green girl. I don't care for green. On me, uh, on my best friend, green is stunning. I buy her all this green. But on me, People always want to say, with your dark eyes and dark hair, green should look great. No, it doesn't. I've tried. It just doesn't. That's a pretty gold, though. Which is another color I love, but I, I don't often wear it. Which is silly, because it is pretty. Okay. That looks good. Another brush. Let's go into this green. Let's see what we can do with it. It is a lovely green. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. But let's give it a try. Just bringing it into the crease. just slightly, slightly above the crease, and of course on the outer corners. Let's go on the other side. I'll blend it out in a minute. Y'all know I will, because you got to blend, blend, blend to make it work. I went a little wild there. We'll fix it though. I'm going to blend. Now I'm going to take a clean brush. I'm going to try to find a light. Here's a, a light, light, light tannish brown that I'm going to use as the transition color to kind of help blend that green. Slightly on and above the green. Okay. Help get that transition going. Blend it out. Normally this is where I would use my blush. Y'all know I like to do that with blush. I'm going to go to a very light color to put at the top to highlight my brow bone.
because remember, I have arthritis real bad in my hand, so I can't do eye makeup and other makeup like a lot of other people can. So I have to rely on the blend, 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 because that's what works for me to make it all work out. If I don't do that, I just look like a big old mess. It's turning out pretty good. There we go. We're just going real simplistic. Now I need, needs to be brighter on the inner corner, so I'm going to just take that real light color. And just pat it. Get that going. There we go. Okay. I still don't like the blend on this one. I'm going to add some, um, blush to it I think because I don't like how it blended out so I'm going to take a blush brush and I'm going to out of these blushes um, I'm just going to go watch you got to make the noise the noise makes it more fun <laughs> I'm just going to go high up there we go do it again shoop Shoop, got it. Here we go. Okay, oh, that's pretty. I'm going to take um, a little bit of this bronzer, maybe go on top of it to get that blend a little better. Okay, that's much better. And if you still don't like it, take your powder brush, tap, 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 ta-da. It's that simple. Now, that's pretty good. And I'm not a green lover, and it turned out pretty good. I need to take a little of that green, and I'm going to go under my lashes. That's right there. And now see, remember putting a little powder under your eyes will hide any puffiness or wrinkles right under there. Cool, cool, cool. Now it's time for a little eyeliner. And this would be the Urban Decay 24 7. So I'm going to do that. I'm not winging it or anything. I'm just keeping it close to the line. Just getting it on. There we go. I'm going to grab my Mally Mascara, which I needed to warm up, but I have not. That's actually kind of pretty. I still want a little bit of highlight right there. Check it. I think it turned out pretty. And my hair's not even brushed or done, okay? I mean, literally, I got out of bed... I, I made myself my crystal light because y'all know I drink crystal light all day. I don't drink coffee or anything. I love crystal light. <laughs> okay, my mascara. And ta da! There we go. Mm. 
love this Mally Mascara. This look, I think, turned out kind of pretty for first thing in the morning, having no idea what I was going to do. Just waking up, feeling kind of gunky. This is awesome. So we all can wake up not looking our best, but give it a few minutes and you can leave looking gorgeous. Ta-da! There we go. Now I would prefer a little more mascara because y'all know I like some mascara. But this is your finished makeup look. I think it turned out really pretty for not having any clue as to what I was going to do. So what do you think? I like it. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now... I did not put a hairbrush in my hair. I took my hair out of this clippy before we started filming because I slept with this on top of my head. I, I can't stand the hair to touch me, so I sleep with it on top of my head. This would be your finished look. I, I think it turned out pretty good. Be sure to rewind and see what I look like at the beginning and see what I look like now. I think you'll be impressed, and I think you can do it too. We can all go from looking ew to looking woo-woo. Okay, so go look woo-woo, smile at somebody, make their day better. Know that I love you all with all my heart. Have a great day. Bye, y'all. I never can turn this thing off. <laughs> Let's try it.